Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be looking at some uh, wonder kids that are in career mode on FIFA 17 and I can see three of them there already but we are going to be going through them in a bit more depth and there is going to be a lot more players as well I think we've got about 12 to show you so if you like the video please drop a like down below and subscribe while you're around here and also comment just let me know if you want to see a part 2 uh, or maybe even further like a part 3 or 4 of this uh, FIFA 17 career Korea mode wonder kids because there is a lot more players than I have covered in this video so let's jump straight into number one which is Delhi Ali now this guy's card this year looks pretty average uh, obviously a massive increase on the 72 base card that he did have last year but uh, it's a potential that you guys really need to look at here as you can see in the middle next to his name he's got a 90 potential uh, another motorbike going past which I hate in my videos uh, as you guys know but yeah, it's plus uh, 8 actual overall, but uh, he's got a 90 potential, which is fantastic for him. And his stats are pretty well-rounded as well. If he got an extra 2 defending, he would have very, very uh, equal stats roundabout as well, which is fantastic. And uh, I'm pleased for him because he's a great player, and uh, he definitely deserves a high potential. He is a very promising player as well. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the next one. So then guys, the next one is Hector Bellerin, again only a plus 2 upgrade, which isn't the biggest, but uh, he's still got a fantastic uh, potential of an 87, which is very, very good. Imagine having an 87 right back with uh, like 97 pace or around the 90 pace in your team. That is fantastic, and to be fair, if he did start off with 97 pace, and he did get to an eight, uh, nine, uh, 87 potential, sorry, he probably would already have a 99 pace, which is brilliant. And uh, Hector Bellerin is a great defender anyway. Very, very good last year on FIFA. And he looks like he's going to be even better this year. Still not as high as uh, I think he deserves, but it's still a great card. And we'll move on to the next one. The next one is the youngster named Julian Brandt of Bayer Leverkusen. Uh, he wasn't the fastest of players this year, but I think he might get quite a big pace upgrade this year to around 84 pace. Looks like an average card. He's got good pace, good dribbling, and very average shooting, along with passing, but he's not very strong. But it doesn't really matter when you're out on the left mid. Uh, he's got a 79 rating, uh, which is a plus 5 from last year, 74. And uh, he also has an 88 potential uh, for career mode which is very very good as well and uh, he has always been a great player to pick up in career mode for the past few years but this year looks like uh, he could be even better and uh, I'd definitely pick him up for like a Stoke City kind of team or a West Brom or something like that so that's Julian Brand, and uh, he's going to be a very very good card in the next FIFA if you've not discovered guys, we are going through in alphabetical order, so the next one is Kingsley Coman. Obviously, he now plays uh, for Bayern Munich, he went through a lot of loan spells at like Juventus and uh, different teams like that, and uh, he's back at uh, Bayern Munich now, and he looks like a very, very good card. Uh, he got a January upgrade to a 77 uh, last year, and now he's got an 81 rated base card, which is great, with an 88 potential. So he's not that much growth, but he's still a very high rating. And obviously he's got great pace, great dribbling, uh, average shooting and passing as well. Uh, but he looks like a very good card. And again, he was one of them players that a lot of people like to use this year in Ultimate Team. And also like to pick up in career mode. I actually did a 2025 career mode uh, with him. And uh, I think he got to around an 86 overall. Or 85 or something like that. Um, from 77 which was pretty good but that just shows that he's got a higher potential this year and we can expect big things from him so the next player I don't really know much about but it is Angel Correa uh, playing for Atletico Madrid the Argentinian however I do know that his card looks fantastic 86 pace roundabout 88 dribbling and 80 shooting roundabout as well uh, he's not very strong but you don't expect him to be and he does have a 79 rating with an 88 overall again. Last year, I think he was a good player to pick up in career mode as well. But uh, similar to Komen and Brandt, he looks like he's going to be even better this year. The next one is De Hood. He was uh, heavily linked with Liverpool during the last transfer window. But he didn't end up making the transfer there. Uh, he started off at a 64 rated last year. And then got a January upgrade to a 70 silver card. The one you are seeing on the left now. But he's gone even further now and he does have a 79 rated base card at the start of FIFA 17. And uh, he also has an 88 potential, 
which is uh, fantastic for him. And he also has 81 at pace roundabout, 84 dribbling, 79 passing, 75 physical. And uh, he, again, he looks like he could be a very, very well-rounded card if he gets a few informs and just gets a bit of a boost on the defending and shooting. Uh, but with the 88 potential, he looks like a fantastic pickup, even for like the likes of Liverpool in career mode. Uh, maybe as a second team player and maybe promote him to the first team after a, f uh, a season or maybe two. But he looks like a great player and uh, I'll look forward to picking him up in career mode in FIFA 17. The next player is Schalke's new signing, Briel Donald and Bolo. Fantastic uh, young player. Played for Basel for the past few seasons, scored a lot of goals and also made quite a few appearances in the Euros for Switzerland as well. Uh, he's got the same rated card as last year, the only difference being that uh, instead of a striker he's now a right midfielder. But even on the right midfield he still looks good with uh, 86 pace, which looks fantastic. And uh, he looks like he could be a very, very cheap player to pick up in Ultimate Team. And uh, also probably in career mode as well, I doubt Schalke are going to ask that much money for him. And I think he will be very good for your team. And obviously he can play at striker as well, so he's a very versatile player. And uh, he's another one of them players that I'd recommend getting for like a Stoker or a West Brom team. Uh, so that is Mbolo and we will keep moving on and progressing to the next player. This next player, even though he is only very, very young, seems to have been in career mode for years now. Every single year, this guy has been uh, a lot of people's go-to man, as he does tend to grow by a lot of ratings, and is Halilovic. I don't know exactly who he plays for now. He could be playing for uh, Barcelona, or it could be uh, the team on the right, which I believe could be Sporting Gijon, or uh, a, another team. I'm not really sure. But uh, it looks like a good card. He's got high pace for a midfielder, uh, good dribbling, good passing, and definitely for a 79 rating card with the 89 potential that he does have. And uh, as I said, guys, he, he's been everybody's go-to man in career mode. So I can't see that being any different this year with uh, potentially, okay, this is going to be ironic, a potentially an, an even higher potential for uh, for him in the next year. And uh, also an ultimate team as well. He's, he's going to be a cheap uh cheap league of bbva player as he doesn't play for a like high team high like higher team in the league of bbva so uh i think he'll be a hidden gem in uh, the likes of ultimate team and in career mode so uh yeah moving on to one of the fifa ambassadors of fifa 17 and it is anthony martial now i think his upgrade on ultimate team is purely because of uh because of the fact that he is one of the ambassadors for the game but he does have an 82 rating in ultimate team and in career mode he has a potential of 90 which is very good uh not last year uh i think in fifa 15 when he was at monaco and he didn't actually have a face on his card he was a fantastic player to pick up and i think he had a very high potential then as well uh but now he's at man united he definitely has uh, that high potential and he's got a lot of pace and dribbling and shooting as well and he's also got a bit of strength about him and uh, he can definitely win stuff in the air so I think uh, he c he'll be a fantastic player to use next year as he uh, can play out on the wing as well if you need him to so uh, similar to Mbolo he's going to be a very versatile player and uh, but I think the only downside with Martial is, even if you're buying him in the first season from Man United, you're going to have to pay quite a lot of money for him, as he is already a decent player there and uh, an exciting prospect for the future. So United are going to want to hang on to him. But apart from that, it looks like a great player to use, and I definitely recommend you guys going to pick him up in your career modes. Now on to Man City's new signing, currently injured. But uh, when he comes back from injury, he's going to light the Premier League on fire, I'm sure. And it is Leroy Sané. He had a great season last year with Schalke and picked himself up an 83 team of the season card. And uh, that has earned him a plus four upgrade from his uh, January upgrade of last year. And he's now at a 79 with an 88 career mode potential. Uh, fantastic player again. I know I've said that for a lot of them, but they are all great players to use. 94 pace, 83 dribbling, 77 shooting. Uh, round about those stats as well which are all great and uh, I used his team the season card last year because I won it from the tournament and he was fantastic he got more than a goal a game for me and uh, I played quite a lot of games with him as well maybe up to 100 somewhere around that mark so I cannot wait to use uh, Leroy Sané in the next FIFA because I think he's a very very good player
And uh, if he's anything like he was this year in FIFA 17, then he's going to be a great player for you. Similar to Halilovic, guys, our next player seems to have been in career mode for ages, and he's uh, like Halilovic. If they didn't buy him, they'd go to this guy, which is Yori Tillemans, or uh, Tillemans, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, but he's got an 89 potential and a 77 rated, which is a plus one on uh, his last year's card. I can't really see him be being very popular in Ultimate Team, because his card doesn't actually look the best at its current uh, state at 77. But, um, and the fact that he plays in the Belgian Pro League, which probably won't help his case uh, in the Ultimate Team. But for career mode, with that 89 potential, uh, he looks like a great, great player. And he looks like the kind of player he could play in, like, defensive midfield or attacking midfield, uh, whichever one you'd like to. So, similar uh, to Halilovic, I don't know much about him, but uh, I know he's going to be a great player in the next year's FIFA. So, let's move on to the final player of the video. Now then guys, our final player of the bit video is uh, Kurt Zuma. He's actually got a plus one rating on his January upgrade card last year uh, to an 80 rated base card this year with an 89 potential in career mode. Uh, he's still very fast. He's going to be a very similar card to what he was last year. Uh, apart from the, the fact that he's going to grow a lot in potential if you do pick him up in your career mode. Uh, so he's going to be pretty much the same guys really barring that. So there's not really much to say about him. But... Uh, Please drop a like on this video if you've enjoyed it. We have come to the end of it now, unfortunately. Uh, so remember to drop a like and comment, as I said at the start, down below if you want to see a part two to this. And uh, I've got a new mic, guys. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, I spoke about it in a few videos. I was waiting for a little adapter part so I could use it. I think they sound a lot better. Let me know what you think down below. And apart from that, have a very nice rest of your day. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video.